Hi, I'm Dr. Jacqueline Baxter, um, Director for the Centre for Innovation and Business and Legal Education. And today I'm going to be talking to Carol Sheriff. Welcome, Carol. Hi. Carol is a teaching fellow in the Faculty of Business and Law. She's chair of one module, a module team member on three, and an associate lecturer too. Great. Um, so today, Carol, what I want to talk to you about is about your research into teaching and learning. So can you just give me a little bit of background on that and tell us about the project? Yeah, it's interesting you talk about my different roles because my interest in teaching really comes from that. You know, I have a lot of experience as an AL, but come right quite recently into the sort of more academic role. Mm. And I was module chair of a brand new um, module on exploring innovation and entrepreneurship. Mm -hmm. And from my view, it's a fabulous model, module. It's just, you know, really, really exciting. But when I looked at the first year's uh, figures, there was a little bit of an issue with students sort of dropping out right at the beginning of the module okay and you thought well why was this happening it you know it mm. wasn't what we expected it mm. didn't quite make sense you know once students continued past the sort of first tma point they they stayed to the end they did very well so you know what's happening mm. Um, and I was very lucky, one, the funding for the centre came up, but also it was at the same time where some new data analytics mm. were coming on board mm. for chairs. So we set out, and I say we because I work with two colleagues as well, to look at you know, what was happening, mm. what the figures showed us, but also you know, what the ALs could tell us about you know, why were students struggling mm. and walking away? Mm. And so literally that's what we did. We were very lucky to be able to commission another AL to do some of the, uh, the, the crunching the numbers, if yeah. you think of it like that. Mm. Um, and then set up our first report into, you know, really retention and success rates on this very new module. Great, it sounds really interesting. It was, yeah. And, and how do you think this is going to impact on the module itself and the student experience? Well, this is really good, because that's, to be honest, why we set out to mm. do it. You mm. know, we wanted to have an impact on the module um, for, you know, immediately. Mm. So in mm. the next few presentations. So some of the things we found were that um, we had students from the Open Degree Programme who had not done a business module before. So we were able to do some material, especially for them, mm -hmm. and put it on the module site. Mm. Um, so that was one thing. We also found, and this won't surprise people working in the Open University, but a lot of students were working on at least two modules at right. the same time. Okay, yeah. And quite a lot of them are also in full-time employment. Mm, and mm. you then we thought, well, goodness me, how do they manage? Yes. And the first project we looked at, you know, do the TMAs clash? And they do. Mm. And so what can we do, you know, to ensure that that our students are able to manage their time. Mm. So for the first year, the very simple thing we did was just enable uh, students where we knew there was a clash to have an extension on our module, because it was okay. very easy for us to do that. Just a week, but yeah. it, it, it made a big difference for them. But out of that, actually, so there were a number of um, steps we could take if you like, the big question that came out of that is how do our students manage? Mm -hmm. You know, if mm -hmm. they are, you know, full in full time employment and doing two, you know, substantial because our module is a sixty credit module. So right. you know, we we didn't expect people to do other things at the same yeah. time. We know they do, but um, you know, so how do they manage mm. that? And 
very luckily, the chair and I of the other module, mm -hmm. um, you know, have a similar interest. So at the moment, we're working on looking at okay, how do how do students who successfully do two mm. modules, how do they do it? And this time, we are going to bring in the, the student voice. So we've got permission Great. to set up a student focus group as well. And of course, this will have wider applicability, uh, not only across the university, but for other institutions that, in, 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 that are offering such intensive um, patterns of study. It, it, it's really, really intriguing, yes, because I'll, I'll confess that, you know, from a teaching perspective, you do sort of feel, why, <laughs> why are you doing this? This is yes. so intense. Mm. But it's very clear that students do do it and do it successfully. Mm. So knowing what they do when they're successful and getting advice direct from students is going to be really fascinating. Absolutely, yes. That's great. It sounds very satisfying work um, and work that should have a really big impact mm -hmm. on our curriculum yeah. as well. Okay. Thank you very much, Carol. Thank you, Jacqueline.